Okay, you guys ready for a circle? I hope you had a nice breakfast. I hope you've been having a nice day. You guys ready for special letter delivery? Okay, I need you to sing it with me. I haven't done special letter delivery in a while. Special letter delivery. I wonder what letter it could be. Let's see. What do you think that is? Is it a P? Is it a D? Is it a... I think you're right. It's a B. It's the letter B. We, how do we know it's a B? We know it's a B because it has big line down, small curve at the top, small curve at the bottom, two curves. Looks like a mountain. Bump, bump, big line. Ba, 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 ba. I wonder what kind of words start with B. You guys love thinking of words that start with a letter. If we look at this one, there's a picture of a boot. Ba 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 boot. Let's actually get closer. And there's a picture of a bat, baseball bat, and a bus, and the boot. I think you guys can figure out some more words that start with b b b, like bugs. We're talking about bugs and insects. Do you guys want to hear the song for letter B? I know you love the song. Okay. Everyone ready? It's about these two guys. They're best friends. They both live together on Blueberry Lane. There's the blueberries. And in sun and in rain. Can you guys find any? I'm going to pick this up. Let's look for some bees in here. Let's look for the bees. Oh, yep. There's the big one. Capital B and the lowercase. And then there's, let's look for the capital B's in here, the one that we know has a big line down, small curve at the top, small curve at the bottom. There's one there. Do you see another one? Oh, yeah. One here. One there. There's one here and there. And right there. That's a lot. There's some lowercase ones, too. Do you see them? Parents, you can pause the video to let your child have time to pick them out to see if they can find any of the lowercase too. And you can try to find a letter B in your house somewhere. I wonder if that's possible. Do you think there's a B in your house? Not an insect. <laughs> Not the insect, but a letter B. Like, ooh, Bobby Ellen has bees in her name. Bobby Yellen's name has three. Wow, that's a lot. Let's see. What do we, should we do the wooden pieces? Yeah, okay. Now, you may not have wooden pieces in your house, but I bet you have a pencil. That could be a big line. And maybe you have some string or yarn or scraps 
a material or any little pieces that could be put into a curve. Maybe you can try that. So it has big line. Just one? Just one? Okay. How many curves do we need? Do we need a big curve? No. Too big. Okay. Small curves? How many small curves? Two? Okay. So here's the big curve. Small curve. Small curve. Did we do it? Is it a V? I wonder if you can make a B with things at your house. Can you find a straight line somewhere? Ask your mom and dad if you need help. Can you find some curves in your house? Hmm. I would be interested to know what you can find to be the curves and the line. Please let me know. Have your parents email me. Okay. Good job. Good work. We're going to say bye to B. Bye, B. B is going to buzz away. And let's do some math. Some math time. We are adding and subtracting. So, I am wondering. I'm going to actually get the camera so you guys can see up close. Okay, let's see. How do we do this? How do we add and subtract? So, let's pretend I had some toys and I wanted to find out how many toys I have. Let's see. I have one two, three, four triangles, okay, and one, two squares. How many are there together? Let's count them together. One, two, now we keep going, three, four, five, six. There's six together. So two, Plus four must be six when we add them. What if I gave one to my friend? How many do you think we have now? We had six. I gave one to my friend. Should we count it again? Yeah, if we don't know, we can just count it again. One, two, three, four, five. Now there's five. Ooh, what if we took away one more? I think you know how many's here. If you don't know, that's okay. We just count again. One, two, three, four. Now there's just four. What if I used two more? Now how many are left? <gasps> You're right! There's two. And if I subtracted two... Now how many are left? Zero. Zero's a number. You guys got it. Good job on that. Um, you can use other things too. Let's see. What if we wanted to count the legs on this insect? If we have three on this side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three legs on this side, three legs on that side, but we can add them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys got it. What can you add and count in your, in your house? What kinds of things can you add and count? Some of your toys? Maybe some of your fingers? Ooh. Sometimes you like to talk about your birthdays. That's adding. If you're three years old and you add one more, now how many years are you? That's right, four. You guys got it. I would love to hear what kinds of things you can count and subtract. 
maybe when you're eating your dinner and you have five peas left and you're going to subtract them by eating them. You eat one pea, how many do you have left? And then you eat another one, now how many do you have left? Oh, that sounds like fun. Now I'm getting hungry. Okay, that's it for this one. I will see you at the next circle time. Bye!